Welcome to the MTI Connect mobile app tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to navigate the MTI Connect mobile app and get access to everything MTI in the palm of your hand. The first step is to visit your mobile app store and download the MTI mobile app. Once you're on your app store search page, you will want to search for MTI Connect. That's MTI Connect. Once you've downloaded the app, you will want to turn on your mobile alerts for the app by visiting your notification section in the general settings of your phone. This allows notifications to pop up on your phone screen whenever there are posts in your discussion forums or a member replies to one of your messages. Once your mobile alerts are set, you will then log into the app with your email address and password we have have on file. If you have forgotten your password or do not know what it is, simply go to MTI's website at heattreat.net. That's heattreat.net. Go to the top right and click on the sign in button, click forgot password, and follow the directions to reset your password. Once you log in, you will now have access to a host of options to connect in with people, information, resources, and industry discussions for valuable feedback. The first step you're going to want to take is setting your alerts inside your discussion groups to notify you if anyone replies to you. You can quickly do this by clicking into your discussion groups, click the gear at the top right, and set the alerts to the level you want. Now that you're all set up, you can begin to use the mobile app. To view your profile, click your name at the top you will see your profile we have on file. No one sees your email address but you. You also notice a QR code at the bottom. This code is specific to your profile and can easily be scanned by another member's app to add each other into your network of connections and the MTI app. I'll show you how to use the QR code scanner in a few moments. If you go back to the app's homepage by clicking the top right icon, you can now move into the discussion forums. These are the latest discussions taking place in the community groups you are a member of. To read the full detailed comments, you will click any of the posts. To reply to a post, click the reply button at the bottom right. From here you can reply to the entire group or just to the sender. To post a new discussion, click the post button at the top of the discussion's main page. Once you click the post icon, click the circle in the to box to bring up your discussion forums. Select the forum you want, enter your subject, your comment or question, and then click send. From there, all members in the group receive the post and can reply back. As member post comments in the group forums, you also will receive one email digest each morning with the post from the previous day. You can quickly reply back to any post from your emails by clicking Reply to Group. The next important option is connecting with people. Searching, connecting, and building your own personal network is quick and easy. Click on People, click on Search Directory, and start typing. This app will immediately pull up all member companies and or individuals that have the letters you typed in your search field. You can now click in and out of the member companies and or the individuals to view their contact information. By clicking on their phone number, it will ask you if you want to dial their number, or if you click on the address, it will bring up a map for directions. If you click the connect button at the bottom right, you can send them a private direct message or a contact request to join their private network. At the beginning, I showed you a QR code for your specific profile. Every member in the system has one specific to them. If you're ever with MTI members face to face, you can quickly add each of them to your personal network of contacts by one of you pulling up the QR code scanner under the people option and scanning the other person's QR code in the personal profile. It will send them an immediate friend request that they can accept in their inbox and you will both be added to your personal MTI network. Once in the personal network, you can now easily find each other and communicate together. The next option you will want to take advantage of is MTI's resource library. This gives you the access to any of MTI's industry documents that have been made available for public view. This includes financial reports, technical papers, and business management resources. To access library resources, click Libraries on the home page. Click Resource Library. You can scroll through the resources or keyword search to locate what you're looking for. To download, click into the resource, then click the document. If asked, you'll need to enter your email address and password for security purposes, and then you'll be able to view the document from your mobile device. The last few areas you will want to be aware of are your inbox. This is where private messages and friend requests can be found for you to reply to. You also have a calendar of events that you can see full details of any MTI meeting that has been confirmed for members to attend. The last element I want to share with you is links to your community forums you are a member of. Those can be found at the bottom of the home page. Inside each community you will find a listing of the members of the community, any discussions, resource libraries of any document that has been uploaded, and any news blog posts that are relevant to the community. So there you go, everything MTI in the palm of your hand with MTI Connect. As any resources are added to the mobile app, you will receive a notice through the app in the open forum community as well as our website at heattreat.net. Thank you for your time. Start connecting with people and resources you need to be successful in the heat treating industry. 
Thank you for your company's membership and the Metal Treating Institute.